This morning, a story of one soldier's service and sacrifice and how his family found a way to carry on and help others, all in their son's memory. Watch this. We always describe Brian as the really true all-American boy. He grew up in a small West Texas town. He played sports. We didn't have to teach him morals or right and wrong. He had that all figured out all by himself at a very young age. He loved everything about America and everything it stood for. Brian decided to enlist right after 9-11. I remember the first time he came home and you could tell he was different, that he had changed, which we had expected. You know, he's been at war. Brian was easily an, an ultimate role model for his men. You know, they, he treated them like family. There was even a tradition Brian had before they go on a mission. He would kiss each of their helmets. I woke up, the phone was ringing, and it was my daughter-in-law, Tiffany, telling me that Brian had been killed in Afghanistan early that morning. And he was, uh, his, his unit was 16 days from coming home and, uh, and he was just gone there's no last goodbyes there's no last chance to say I'm, I'm proud of you for what you're doing we put the flag up on the mantle you know and we're just done there's there's nothing left we had his medals and we had a hole in our heart we're to the point where we're barely communicating because there's nothing left to say. He's shattered because we can't be the only people that are struggling with this kind of loss. You know, military families, you hold your breath during that whole deployment and Gold Star families never get to exhale. We never get to let go of that because we're never gonna hear that ever again. It's never going to be, Dad, I'm okay. Dad, it's me. It's just gone. And that's, that's, that's what being a Gold Star family is. You learn how to carry that.